Like I've said a bunch of times, I have a good way to word it here. What I see when things happen is the truth of their depth. Like, sound can't lie to nature. When you're lying, nature can't be fooled. Whether you're lying to a human shell of a body that's listening to you, or you're lying on a video or lying on a tape and people are hearing you and you convince them, that's one thing. But true nature itself will react according to the truth in you. So if you are lying, nature will react to your lie. Doesn't mean that that's a good thing. It's usually a bad thing if you're lying because you should never lie to get something for yourself. You should always tell the truth and see what happens from the truth because the truth is what's going to free us, definitely. That's not just a saying. But what that means is that when you talk, when a person says something, you can trace voice patterns all you want. But have you ever noticed that at a certain volume it's like, ah, ah and ba and ga and da have little tiny lines and differences with the b the d the ga the g the whatever that kind of stuff but literally the sound pattern will appear to look the same now there's different ways of calculating and measuring sound but nature doesn't need an instrument no matter what instrument or gadgets we make to measure things we're only going to be a tiny piece of correct compared to the correctness of divine nature. Now, when people talk, nature feels it, senses it, gadgets it in its own kind of way that we could not fathom, and it knows. And I see that. I see the truth in things. Sometimes if I'm not what I call connected because I'm being too personal with something or someone in a humane, human way, sometimes I can be duped, but very rarely, because I'm not worried about doing things that are non-meaningful here and there if they aren't causing any problems. But when it comes to deep things that need contemplation or, you know, figuring out, I won't be duped. I'll do the right thing according to nature. That's what people are supposed to do to be true and real. So if you say you're true and real and you're doing things that are not right according to nature, you're not being true and real. You might just be holding up to what you think is cool and hip and accepted. And that's not right. Sorry. But what I'm trying to say is another attempt to say what I see the way I see it. And the way I feel it and experience it through my life from everybody is different than everybody. Not just the way that everyone else says they're different. But in a way that I see the pattern of truth. I see what God wants us to do. And no matter how big and bold it sounds, I can't stop standing behind the truth. What do you think Christ did? I mean, I'm not trying to sound stupid, but that's, that's me, that's you, that's every living thing that has felt the truth. And when you feel the truth, you're not afraid to say it. No matter how big or bad some muscle man who says, oh, you're Christ. I mean, like, yeah, I am. And you have Christ within you, you just don't understand it. And you have Jesus within you, and you have Krishna within you, and you have Buddha within you, you have all those things within you. But if you don't understand what they mean, they're just words, and you're, you're just playing a silly character and it doesn't mean anything and until you find what it all means what's the point of doing it not knowing like if you didn't know that there was a true meaning fine live life the way we've been living it but since the truth is here and since the truth has always been here it just took somebody to really really feel it and be able to say it and not give up on it it's here so since you know it's here why on earth, literally on earth, why would you deny what nature and earth and spirit, the universe, God, wants you to do? Why would you ignore that? You don't have the right to do that. Human beings aren't shit. 
That's a pattern of words. What it means is light managers, light workers. That's what human means. And if you think that just because some fucking old man in the past wrote down some things and said, that's what we're going to do, and then they fought over it, and people that you may have known or people that you feel bad for may have died, that that makes it so that everybody will always have to follow those fucking rules, you're fucking pathetic and stupid and childish. Sorry if you don't like it. I don't either. I don't like the way we're living off of other people's bullshit. No one really does. But they're too afraid to stand up and change it. And when somebody is, nobody's got enough balls to stand behind them. When it's really the biggest thing that's ever happened in the world in their lifetime. This is the truth for every living mortal soul. Why is that being put off for some fucking moronic anything else, literally, but what we're doing right now. Listening to bullshit. Trying to get prescription drugs. Like, that is silly. For every person who has a prescription drug, figure out what's wrong with you, learn about your body, and start taking care of it according to nature, not according to chemical science. It's fucking buffoonery. Think about that. In depth. And really let it sink in. Think about it. Don't get offended by it. Think about it, because you're offending yourself in a way deeper way by just putting chemicals in your body and just listening to what you're told. That is not a grown-up thing to do. That's a childish, scared thing to do. The truth really hurts. I know. I'm living it, and it hurts. I feel it all the time. But I love the world. And I won't stop feeling the hurt until the hurt isn't there to be felt. Because that's the only way it can be real for all of us. And that's how much I care. If anyone cares that much, then it's not a competition. Join me. I'm not saying go against me. There's no against when I'm working for togetherness. Together is not against. I'm not against separateness. In my togetherness, separate is part of it. I just want us to join together for the right causes. And then you can go do your thing off on your own all you want. But when people interact, act accordingly. Be right with people. You have no right to be bigger, badder, brutal, or brutal or anything towards somebody. You don't own anyone, no matter who you are. And no one can tell me otherwise. And no one should tell you otherwise. Because if the government or a president or a a minister or a, a police officer has more authority over your life than you, then by God, so do I. And I have more authority over their lives than them. If it comes down to what would mean something for you, then yes, I would say that I have authority over everybody. Because I won't harm anybody and all I'm doing is putting them in the proper place so they can live properly according to to spirit. That's why I say that. And I mean it. But would I violate or misuse that power if it was given to me? No. Because it already has been. I may not flail it and flaunt it like a normal earthling human being, American citizen, or a world citizen for that matter, would do in this world full of flashy, chauvinistic, pig-headed people. I wouldn't do that. I won't violate the power that I have because I love this existence. We've done so much amazing stuff that letting people do this to us would just be moronic of me. If I just went back to a life of, okay, I'll pay taxes. <laughs> that sounds as fake to me as the Smurfs. As Gargamel is the, the evil guy to worry about. Gargamel is the government in my mind. That's, what, that's how silly people are if they think they're living sensibly. And they go, I'll pay taxes so that they can make sure that I'm taken care of and protected. Let other countries come here and drop bombs on us. Why are they doing that? Because our ancestors caused problems. And people right now are keeping those problems going. If we can find a way in our hearts of the humanity that we are to say, we can't change what happened. We have to, have to, have to get over it. As big as those words are when it comes down to doing it, 
They sound simple, but we have to get over it. Plain and simple as that. So, that's me trying to explain how I see things with a little bit of added detail at the end there, but where would anyone else go if they were in this position? They'd charge themselves in meditation style, just like a power tool, waiting until they were needed to be used. And whenever they have something they can say and channel that's pure, they'll do it. And whenever they can be part of something, of somebody or something that is innocent and just wanting to have an experience, they'll do it. But other than that, there's no coming out of the pure truth, the realness. And when people want to hear it, all they have to do is ask. Other than that, I'll just be as kind and as passive as possible. Unless I'm not allowed to be. So, until next time, peace.